Hey guys, my name is Cameron and welcome back to my channel Which Way to Wicked where we talk about all things love, light, and especially tarot. So guys, today we are going to be doing such a gossip filled reading today as we find out what your reputation is at work or at school. So if you were wondering what people think about you, including your boss, your co-workers, your classmates, your teachers, this is going to be the reading for you because overall we're going to be taking a look at how all these people view you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading today by taking a look at your group picks. So for group number one, we have this cute little crystal pen. Hopefully y'all can see that. It's super cute. <laughs> and then for group number two, we have this little thingy mabob. This came off of a, a necklace. It broke, but it's still really cute, I think. And then last but not least for group number three, we have this other pen of a beautiful woman with gorgeous hair that says be passionate. So guys, I want you to go ahead and take a very big deep breath in. And now I want you to please let it out. And now I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I want you to think about what your reputation is at work or at school. Then whenever you feel ready, please open your eyes and whichever pin or thingamabob <laughs> your eyes lands on first, then that, my dear, is going to be the reading for you today. Now, if you feel called to more than one of these objects, then definitely feel free to check out those extra messages as well. And as always, I will have the timestamps listed down in the description box below. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into your reading today, friends. Hello, group one. So, if you felt called to this super cute crystal pin then hey hello how are y'all and welcome to this fabulous reading today so I'm gonna go ahead and just place this off to the side like so and let's start taking a peek at your tarot cards so first of all I do just have to go ahead and plug in my channel so if you do happen to like this tarot reading if you're new here and you like my vibe then please make sure to subscribe because I post videos like this every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you join this side of tarot tube but anyways you guys let's go ahead and take a look at your cards so we're trying to find out the question what is your reputation at work at school what does your boss slash co-workers slash teacher and classmates think about you so overall spirit what is group one reputation okay so wow right away we're already getting a couple cards coming through let's see what else wants to make an appearance here okay and then let's get maybe one more card okay wow this is interesting this is really interesting Okay, so first of all, you guys, we have these Seven of Swords coming through for the back of the deck energy. We also have the Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. The Knight of Cups. And then the Eight of Wands. So just already just diving in and talking about that Seven of Swords energy coming through for the back of the deck, we've got this card here and usually this talks about someone being kind of sneaky this could talk about like a type of betrayal someone lying to you things like that it can talk about deceit and then after that we have the eight of cups and this usually talks about going through some type of harder time and just deciding that now it's time for you to just like cut your losses it's time for you to walk away and usually this is the kind of walking away where 
you're kind of sad about it, right? This isn't a happy ending. This is kind of a sad ending. This is one that you didn't really want, but you have to take it. You have to take that loss and you have to walk away. And then what's so interesting is that after that we have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles talks about wanting to hold on to something. It talks about wanting to keep something to yourself, being a bit possessive in a way. It could even talk about wanting to stay on the side of caution and stay in like stay somewhere where you feel safe rather than going out and doing something a bit more crazy. Okay? So I feel like with all of this coming through, I'm getting the idea that I feel like people, your boss, your coworkers, your teacher, your classmates, they might feel as though some type of wrong was done to you. This could be a wrong that took place at your work or at your school. Maybe you had a classmate that was like flirting with you or something and then they ended up I don't know flirting with other people and so you you know that kind of upset you or something this could talk about someone lying to you so maybe you were friends with a co-worker and then they ended up gossiping about you to someone else or they lied to you about something and so you felt as though you were betrayed now like I said, this could be coming from work or this could be coming from outside of your work, outside of your school environment, and maybe you're more open about it. So what I mean by that is maybe your boo thing cheated on you and you went into work, you went into school, maybe you were kind of in a in a rotten mood because of it and people were asking you what's up and you said like, hey, I just found out that I've been getting cheated on or that my parents have been lying to me about some big family secret or something like that, okay? So at the end of the day, I just think that your boss, your co-workers, your teachers, your classmates, they feel like something, something wronged you, somebody wronged you, something happened to you that wasn't fair. And I definitely think that they feel as though you're not happy about it, that this isn't something that you wanted to go through, but it's something that you have to experience nonetheless. And they are feeling as though like you are walking away from this bad situation. You're cutting ties. You're cutting your losses. But at the same time, it's almost like something is still keeping you in its grip. So what I mean by that is let's go back to that scenario where... Maybe you had a classmate of yours got, or excuse me, flirting with you, but then you found out they're flirting with someone else. So you may have completely cut them off. You may have stopped talking to them in that type of way, and you're not really giving them your time, your attention anymore, but you're still in their grip in the way that you're thinking about them all the time. You're, you're always just like sitting at school and it looks as though like you're staring off into space and you look kind of sad and people think that you're thinking about them or something so yeah does that make sense so I feel like you're getting this reputation as though something bad happened to you somebody hurt you somebody betrayed you whether that be at work or at school or at your home outside of this place and people see you as someone who you know, you let that thing go, you walked away, you took that L, but you're still kind of hung up on it, if that makes any sense. So that's definitely kind of the vibe that I'm getting so far. But let's go ahead and talk more about your actual like tarot cards that came through. I think I mentioned them already, but just in case, we have the Ten of Swords, we have the Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. So the Knight of Cups, first of all, this talks about like water signs. So you could be a water sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, or in Venus. So I am talking about the signs Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. And so talking about the Three of Swords, this talks about heartbreak, babe. This talks about heartbreak. So yeah, something hurt you, your boss, your coworkers, your teachers, your classmates, they feel like something hurt you. And so you're getting the reputation 
of someone who has gone through a lot, who has recently been going through a jam, and they feel as though you are just getting swept up into a whole lot of chaos. A whole, whole lot of chaos. That's what I'm seeing here with this card. It looks like this lady, she's trying to do her best, but it looks like she's getting caught in some type of tornado. I think that's a tornado, and she looks kind of freaked out, okay? And then we have, like, the Ten of Swords, and this lady literally has all these knives shoved into her back. And so, again, this makes me think about somebody, like, talking bad about you, somebody... I don't know, just stabbing you in the back, okay? So yeah, you people just feel like you have been really betrayed. Someone has really, really wronged you. But at the end of the day, even though this, is not, this isn't what you wanted to go through, you're experiencing it. And even though people see you as someone who you're still in the grip of the past, like the past still has a hold of you, even though you're still upset about this and you're giving this your time and your energy, people also see you as someone who is trying to move on. You are trying to move on. You're trying to take a step into your future and you're trying to let this go. And that's what I'm seeing here with the Knight of Swords because the Knight of Swords, this came after the Four of Pentacles for the back of the deck energy. The Knight of Swords does talk about air signs, so I am talking about Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You could be one of those signs. You don't have to. But this talks about someone who's very assertive. This talks about someone who goes after their dreams. This is someone who is not focused on the past. They are focused on the present and on the future. They are so focused on the future and going after their goals. And after that, we also have the Hermit card coming through. This does talk about virtue. Virgo energy. You could be a Virgo. But this talks about being very strong, being very independent, and doing things on your own, being able to handle anything. And this even talks about like thinking about the past, but thinking about it in the way that it's not holding you in its grip. You're more so thinking about it, learning the lesson that you were meant to learn, um, becoming more wise, and then letting go of those past events. Okay, so I really think that your reputation, when it's all said and done, people do see you in a very good light. Your boss, your coworkers, your teachers, everyone, they all see you in an extremely good light. They do feel bad about what has happened to you. They don't feel like it was right, what took place. But at the end of the day, they see you trying to move on. And they feel like, that is really cool. They they really look up to you and they respect how you're able to just keep on going and they love that you're trying to just focus on the future and not let those things that happen to you keep you down for too long. And at the end of the day with that Knight of Cups energy coming through, this is someone who is happy. This is someone who is more positive, more bubbly. And so I'm kind of getting the idea that People see you as someone who's trying to get to that point in your life. You're trying to step into that vibe. You're trying to remain positive and optimistic. And they really think that that's so sweet, especially considering that you have so many reasons to be upset and to carry a chip on your shoulder, and yet you're not doing those things. You're not acting that way. And so I really think that no matter what darkness you've gone through, no matter who has hurt you or who has betrayed you, you're you might still think about it every now and then, but overall, your boss, your co-workers, your teachers, your classmates, they see you as someone who is trying to not let that keep them down for too long. They see you as someone who is trying to remain optimistic. You're trying to see the magic in the world and in your future and in your present moment, and they really like that. They find that to be really sweet, and they just find that to be awesome. They just see you as a very strong person and they really respect that about you. So anyways, let's go ahead and move on and let's take a look at your oracle cards. So Spirit, can we get some extra messages please for group one? Can we get some extra messages? What do, what does their, what do people at their work, people at their school think about my group one folks? What do they think about them? Okay. Ooh. Interesting. That's very interesting. So before I talk about that, let's take a look at your other cards. 
Okay, so for a group one spirit. Can we get some extra messages, please? Ooh, I like that too. Oh, what was I saying? For the back of the deck energy, we had memories coming through. Yeah, they definitely think that there's still something keeping you stuck in the past. Your boss, your teachers, everyone. They think that you have gone through a harder time and that even though you're trying to move on, there's still something keeping you in the past. You're still kind of upset about what happened. You haven't completely gotten over it. <laughs> even though in a way, I feel like they see you as someone who's trying to hide that aspect. It's almost like they see you as someone who you're just trying to put on a happy face and you're it's like you they feel they feel like you might be in the energy where you're kind of thinking like fake it till you make it and maybe they're getting the vibe that you're thinking that so long as you act happy then eventually you will be happy which is interesting so yeah we have the femme fatale coming through and it says highlights the erotic energy of the feminine opens your heart when your dependency is rejected and then we have immortality and the queen of hearts so this is interesting with the queen of hearts look this lady has literally gotten her heart broken. Can you see that? She's gotten her, her heart broken and yet she's still like got a knife in her hand and she's ready to fight this, this like creature here. And I guess we can assume maybe the creature, the snake thing was the thing that, I don't know, hurt her or caused her to bleed in her like heart area. Okay. And so I'm just getting the idea that again, your boss, your teachers, everyone, they see you as someone who has gotten hurt. Like you literally got your heart broken by someone and yet you're still getting up. You're still going to school. You're still going to work. You're still giving it your all. You're trying to move into the future and fight against this past. You're trying to fight against your own self and you just want to be able to keep on going and to not let this thing keep you back any longer. And they find that to be absolutely incredible. With the Femme Fatale, I do think that you are quite attractive. You are very physically beautiful, physically attractive. And so that's definitely coming through. Your boss, your coworkers, your teachers, your classmates, they might find you to be very charming, very erotic. Whether you realize it or not, they think that you are quite good looking. And then last but not least with immortality, this is again making me think about how even after people like shove a knife into your heart, shove a knife into your back, you just keep going. You keep going and you don't let these things keep you down for long. And so it's almost like people see you as someone who is immortal. You just have this like immortal type of strength, this immortal type of determination. You won't let anything keep you down for too long you won't be defeated. You will get back up and keep going. So yeah, at the end of the day, again, you look like um, your reputation is that you've gone through something crazy. You've gone through hell and back. And yet you're not letting it keep you down. You're still working hard. You're still coming in with a smile on your face. You're trying to remain positive, remain happy. You're trying to, to just keep going. You don't want to throw in the towel. They see you as someone who does not give up. You are determined to keep going forward and to keep moving forward. And they just see you as someone who is so strong, so tough. And they see you as someone who is just a go-getter. You're going to keep on going after what you want. No matter what darker moments you have to experience on the way to get to where you want to be. So... You're also very attractive as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading. And if you did, then please make sure to give me a really big, big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday. And I would love to have you stop by this side of Terror Tube again sometime. So I love you all the mostest. And I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day. Mwah. Bye, guys. Hello, group two. So if you felt called to this super 
pretty and unique thingamabob here, then hey, hello, how are y'all? And welcome to this tarot reading today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place this off to the side and let's start shuffling through your cards. So I do have to go ahead and just give my channel a bit of a plug. So if you do happen to like my vibe, if you're new here and you're into my energy, then please subscribe because I post videos like this every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you join this side of tarot team, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at your tarot cards. So we are asking the question, Spirit, what is their reputation, group twos? What is their reputation at work, at school? What is their boss, their coworkers, their teachers, their uh, classmates? What do they think about them? Can we get some messages, please, Spirit? Can we get some messages, please? Can we get some messages, please? So I'm hearing the word grunge coming through. I don't know if y'all are a bit of a rocker at all. <laughs> Maybe y'all are kind of into like grunge music or something like that. You might be like a Nirvana fan. Maybe that's like a, the type of music you listen to and maybe your co-workers, your boss, someone has picked up on it. Someone's heard you listening to that. So they might feel like you're into like the whole grunge music, music or maybe you come into work or to school looking a bit grungy not in a bad way but just in the way that maybe you wear darker makeup or maybe you like to wear like plaid a lot or something like that you may if you're at work maybe you have like really nice like leather boots or something like that okay but yeah there is like some type of like grunginess coming through again that could just talk about your taste in music or it could talk about how you look how you dress your whole vibe maybe you give off the vibe of someone who is from like the grunge era okay maybe people think <laughs> maybe people think that you smoke a lot or something you you make it the reputation of being a bit of like a, a weed a weed smoker okay even if you don't smoke weed maybe people think like mm, they probably smoke weed maybe you maybe you're just someone who's real uh you know the people that smoke weed right there a lot of the times um the people that smoke a lot of weed, they'll be more like chillaxed, more like mellow, going with the flow, right? So maybe you kind of give off that type of vibe, <laughs> which, would, which would be funny, honestly. I think that's kind of cute. I love people that smoke a lot of weed. I honestly think that they are the coolest, chillest people. You can say anything to them and they'll just take it as is. So they're very non-judgmental, which I love. But anyways, okay, let's see what else wants to come through so spirit let's get some messages please what wants to come through okay all right so we have like three different cards making an appearance but i'm just gonna take the card that was like the first one out if that makes any sense the one that was looking at me because these other two cards were just like behind it so i'm gonna put those back in there let's see what else wants to come through oh there we go oh beautiful let's see what else wants to make an appearance Spirit, can we get a couple more messages, please? Okay, there we go. Two more cards. Okay, so for the back of the deck energy, we have the two of wands coming through. So right away, this does talk about thinking about your future. This also talks about having, like, different options. And so, yeah, I feel like people already, like, your reputation at work is that people see you as someone who has a lot of options maybe they see you as someone who has a lot of potential they could see you as someone who's very intelligent who's very who's very determined very ambitious and so they feel like you have a lot going for you they feel like you definitely have the potential to do a lot of different things really your options are endless that's kind of like what I'm hearing here that your options are endless and so yeah that could definitely be something that people think about you that could definitely be the type of reputation that you're getting it's that you just have a lot of options because you're very intelligent you have a lot of different gifts that are going to help you whether it be in work whether it be in uh, schooling here so yeah that's interesting let's see what else is coming through Ooh, I love this so we have the ten of wands coming through the wheel of fortune the three of cups and then last but not least we have the queen of wands I feel like I said that really loud the queen of 
wands. Okay, so with the 10 of wands coming through, this talks about having a lot of responsibilities, like weighing you down and you have so much responsibility that it's hard for you to do other things. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I'm more so getting the vibe that the things that are weighing you down has to do with things that are not work related or not school related because we have the three of cups coming through and that is a card of like friendships it's the card of partying of going out and having a good time and just ha having fun okay and so yeah I'm definitely getting the idea here that your boss your co-workers your teachers your classmates they might see you as someone who is uh, you might be taken on a bit too many parties did, did I say that right <laughs> they maybe they feel like you go clubbing too much they feel like you have t way too many friends you go out and hang out so much that it might be affecting you when you come into work when you come into school you could be someone who looks kind of tired who looks kind of sleepy maybe you can't stay awake and it could definitely be because you've got a lot going on in the way that you like to hang out with your friends after work and it's very interesting though because we on one hand we have the two of wands coming through and literally after the two of wands we have the magician the, ma the magician talks about endless 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 possibilities and so I'm kind of getting this idea that people they see you as someone especially your boss and your teachers they see you as someone who could do absolutely anything you set your mind on if you wanted to make an A in the in your class you could make an A if you wanted to be the best worker in at your job you would be the best but at the end of the day it's almost like you're getting this reputation of being someone that just parties a bit too much you have maybe a bit too many friends you hang out too much that it's starting to affect the way that you work it's starting to affect how productive you are in school and people do see you as someone who is very chatty I think that you are a chatty Kathy okay because we have the Queen of Wands coming through this talks about someone who's very popular this talks about somebody who has a lot of friends they have a lot of people that want to talk to them as well so I just think that even though people see you as someone who comes in kind of sleepy kind of tired into work into school you can still talk like the best of them you are someone who if someone does come up to you and starts chit chatting with you which I feel like that probably happens to you a lot because again I feel like you are quite popular I think people are drawn to you like moths to a flame you just really attract so many people and so I think that you do have do have a lot of people that try to talk to you and if they do come up to and talk to you you're very warm you're someone who will talk to absolutely anyone and you will start talking to them even if someone comes up to you while the teacher is giving a lecture or if someone comes up to you while your boss is trying to talk to to everyone right to the whole department you will stop listening to the boss and start talking to your person who's talking to you okay and so yeah at the end of the day you kind of get the reputation of just being someone who is very very popular very very busy with your social life and because of that that kind of affects your working life your school life and your boss sees that your teacher sees that your co-workers your your classmates they all see that as well but at the end of the day they also see you as someone who still has so much potential I think that they see you as someone who could do absolutely anything you set your mind on I mean literally we have this will of fortune card coming through and you can see that this lady here is like you know moving this wheel and on this wheel there's a house there's a heart there's a book there's a ring so it's almost like this lady's just trying to decide like what do I want next I'm gonna spin the wheel and if it lands on you know the house you know I'm gonna go and start working really hard I'm gonna save up my money and I'm gonna get this dream house I'm gonna have the best house okay and so it's almost like at the end of the day again you just have this ability to get whatever it is you want. I think that you seem like someone who is a great manifester. You are a hard worker when you want to be, okay? But it's almost like it's hard for you to work hard sometimes because you'd rather work hard in your social life than at school and at work. Does that make sense? So, yeah. 
that's what I'm seeing. I just think that you're so tired with your social life that it's hard for you to do your best at your job or at your school. But your boss and everyone else, they feel like if you were to decide to work your hardest, if you were to decide that you wanted to be the best at your school, at your job, you could. You could do it all. But they just see you as someone who is more interested in your personal life, in your social life, and talking to your coworkers, your your classmates, that you're not very interested in doing what you need to be doing at school or at work. Okay, does that make sense? So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing so far. Let's go ahead and move these cards up and let's take a look at your oracle cards. So Spirit, can we get some messages please? Oh, and I do wanna let you guys know, with that Queen of Wands coming through, you are very, very likable. You're very likable. And I think that even though your boss and your teachers may see you as someone who may not be trying your hardest when it comes to school or when it comes to your job, they still really like you. They still find you to be very charming. And when it comes to your personality, like, they eat it up. Okay, they love it. You're very, very likable. And the same goes to your classmates, to your coworkers. They like you so much. You're very, very popular. You're very charismatic. I honestly feel like you would probably be a great, like, newscaster. Or you'd be great in front of the camera. Or you'd be great... Like, like acting, honestly, like, I feel like you'd be a great host or something like that, like a host of a show or maybe a host for your own podcast or something like that. You might perform really well on radio, okay? Maybe you'd be a great radio DJ or whoever, who, the people who have talk shows like on the radio, you could probably make so much money doing that. So yeah, that's kind of just a side note, guys. If you ever felt called to doing any of those things, I think that you'd be great at that. You just have that type of vibe, that type of energy. But let's see what is coming through here. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have Don Juan coming through and it says, spotlights your positive seductive qualities. What was I saying? You are, you are a treat. Now I wasn't necessarily talking and like, I was talking about how people are attracted to you, right? But I wasn't talking about how people are attracted to you physically as well. And so I feel like you just get this reputation because you're so popular, because you're so attractive. I think that your boss, your coworkers, your teachers, your classmates, they see you as someone who is somewhat of a Don Juan. They may even see you as someone who is a bit of a player. They, even if you're not a player, even if you're not someone that, you know, goes around flirting with everyone and doing things like that, you still kind of get that reputation because people feel like you could be a player if you wanted to be. They just feel like you've definitely got that opportunity because you're just so charming. You're so attractive. And so people feel like you must have so many like boo things on the side because of how attractive, how funny, how, how, charming you are so that's very interesting to see you get the reputation of being a player even if you're not that's what people are thinking we also have recovery coming through which again makes a lot of sense like I was saying I feel like you go into work you go into school looking kind of tired looking like you're exhausted like you need, you need to take a big nap or something and it's because of the fact that people are thinking even if you're not doing these things, your boss, your coworkers, everyone, they all think that you're partying during, whenever you're not at work, that you're partying, you're hanging out with all these people, you have so many friends, so many people that want to date you, and so you just have a really busy social life, and that kind of makes it hard for you to have a great school life or a balanced work life as well. And then last but not least, we have mistakes teach us. So that's actually quite, interesting i'm kind of just getting the idea like i'm hearing you will learn you will learn they will learn and so it's almost like people this is kind of representing what people think about you like they're just thinking that one day you will learn you will learn that you shouldn't spend all your time partying all your time dating and doing all these things 
because that will eventually catch up to you. That will have an effect on your work life, on your school life. And so, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. You will learn. They will learn. Eventually, they will learn. And they will grow. They will change. They will have a glow up. Okay? And so, yeah, that's kind of like what I'm hearing. And what's funny is we also have prove yourself. And so, yeah, I think that people just want you to prove yourself. They want you to prove yourself and show them that you can be everything that they know that you can be, right? At the end of the day, people see you as someone who has the potential to do absolutely anything. You have the potential to be the best student, the best worker. And, you, and they're just waiting for you to step into that energy and to be ready to show them and prove to them all these thoughts that they've had about you show them that you can be the best worker that you can be the best student get out of this like party social behavior and just take this more seriously and now guys guys hear me out this is talking about how people view you okay this is what they think about you so you could be the most serious person ever you could be someone that takes school very seriously you could take your work very seriously but at the end of the day this is what people think about you this is what your boss your co-workers your teachers your your classmates they think these things about you so just keep that in mind you may not be like this at all but this is what they think this is your reputation and so yeah they're just ready for you to prove yourself okay um, so yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, they see you as someone who's a bit of a partier, but they also see you as someone who you could do anything. You could do absolutely anything you set your mind on. The options, the possibilities are endless. So they see the best in you. They see the best in you and that's all that matters. So yeah, you guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. If you like this reading, then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday and I would love to have you stop by this side of Tarot Tube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much and I hope that you have an incredible rest of your day, friends. Mwah. Bye, guys. Hello, group three. So if you felt called to this lovely Be Passionate pin then hey hello how are you and welcome to this fabulous side of tarot tube so i'm gonna go ahead and just place this off to the side like so and let's start shuffling through your cards now guys i do have to go ahead and plug in my channel so if you do happen to like my vibe if you are into my energy, then you should go ahead and like this video and subscribe because I am like this all the time. I'm always at this level of energy and if you're into this, then yeah, you'd probably like my other readings. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and take a look at your cards. So Spirit, for group three, can you please tell us what does... What is their reputation? What is their boss, their co-workers, their teachers, their classmates? What do they think about them, Spirit? Can we get some messages, please? What do they think about them, please? I'm hearing the word Summer. Maybe that's your name. Maybe your name is Summer. I don't know. Maybe you just have the type of positivity that comes with Summer. Like, I don't know. Whenever I think about the summer season, I just think about fun and warmth and just happiness that's what i think of when i think of the season of summer so i'm kind of getting the idea that that might be the energy that you bring to everyone that might that may be the energy that you bring to the room whenever you walk in so yeah you could definitely get the reputation of being someone who is very sweet very bubbly you could be someone who just lights up the room i'm thinking of the sun card i would love it if the sun card comes out like that would be absolutely incredible but thinking about the sun card since i'm thinking about that you could be a leo because leo is associated with that sun uh, card energy and so with that leo energy coming through you could definitely be someone who again is just it's almost like you're the center of attention wherever you go leos they are so bubbly they can talk so much and it's almost like they it's almost like they like the sound of their own voice 
<laughs> but guys, like everyone loves a Leo. Everyone loves a Leo. Every Leo I have met, I absolutely adore them. They just have such a charismatic energy to them. So yeah, I definitely think you're well liked at your work, at school here. I definitely think you are the center of, of attention wherever you go. Even if you don't realize it, people just notice you when you walk in. It's like you have a spotlight shining on you. So yeah, that's really, really lovely. I'm also hearing that people might like how you look in your swimsuit. I don't know if you've ever worn your swimsuit around these people. Maybe uh, people have seen your like social media. So maybe your coworkers or your classmates or something have have you on social media and they think you look great in a swimsuit if you do have a swimsuit pic or maybe they just think about what it would be like to see you in a swimsuit so yeah I'm definitely getting the idea that you're quite attractive okay people think you're attractive they like your body but let's go ahead and get one more card there we go okay that's interesting so for the back of the deck energy we do have the tower card coming through very interesting let's see what else is making an appearance oh you guys we don't have the sun card that makes me sad but anyways let's take a look at your other cards here we have the ten of pentacles we have the high priestess and we also have the King of Pentacles. So this is some very, very lovely energy to be having here. With the High Priestess card coming through, that does talk about like that Pisces and Cancerian energy. With this Pentacle energy making it an appearance, that makes me think about Earth signs as well. So I'm thinking of the signs Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So I know I've mentioned a ton of signs. There could just be a lot of you guys that are going to be watching this specific group pick um so yeah just take it as it resonates I am reading for a ton of different people but at the end of the day I'm kind of getting the idea that you are like a mover and a shaker you are someone who gets things done that is what I'm seeing here with the tower card as you can see this tower just got like exploded or whatever there was some type of explosion and it looks as though this witch had something to do with it and she has her little wand and she's looking a bit mischievous and so yeah I'm kind of getting the idea that this witch just decided like I I wanted this tower to be exploded so I'm gonna learn how to make a bomb and explode it now I'm not <laughs> I'm not saying that you're that people see you you get the reputation of being like a bomber or, or a terrorist or something like that like no 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 that's not what I'm saying but what I'm talking about here is that you're a mover and a shaker you're someone who backs up your words with action and so once you decide that you want something I think that you will literally tell people tell your boss tell your co-workers tell your teacher what it is that you want whether it be to be the best worker this month to be the employee of the month at work or whether you want to be the one that makes the highest grades to have the highest GPA at school whatever it is that you say you're gonna do you say it and then you actually work for it and you achieve it okay so yeah people your boss your your teachers all of them they see you as someone who is a mover and a shaker they you get the reputation of being someone who is all action you just go after your goals you go after your goals and that is very 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 beautiful to see here and what's interesting is that we have the high priestess coming through and the high priestess this makes me think about secrets in a way because this could can symbolize secrets and even mystery as well and so it's kind of funny because I feel like I'm getting the vibe that you seem like someone who is quite talkative I think that you are a bit of a chatty Kathy I think that you talk a lot to your friends to uh, to your friends at work, like your coworkers, to your boss, to your teachers, to your classmates, you talk a lot. And what's funny though is even though you talk a lot, even though you have a lot to say, it's almost like people still don't necessarily know who you are. I think that 
people feel as though there is more to you than meets the eye so you may act one way at work or one way at school and people feel like there is so much more to you than what you're actually showing there's so many different sides to you you're like a, an onion that has a lot of layers and so peep your boss and your your co-workers your teachers your classmates they feel like they're only getting one side of you and they are interested to see like what other sides there are to you right they're interested to see to see who you are whenever you're not at work, whenever you're not at school. And so there is this bit of like a mysterious quality about you. So you do have quite a bit of a mysterious reputation. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles coming through, people do see you as someone who's very family oriented. You are someone who is there for your friends, for your family members, and you get the reputation of being someone who just really cares about their friends and their family members. You are someone who will take care of them no matter what you are someone who will do anything for them and so that's very very beautiful to see this is very beautiful energy to be getting here and then at the end of the day with the king of pentacles this talks about someone who is going to be very 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 successful when it comes to the king of pentacles this is someone who is a very hard worker a very big overachiever they may even be a bit of a workaholic it's just because they know that they want to live a luxurious life they want to have things that you can only have with money and so yeah people see you as someone who is going to work very hard you are going to become very successful and they see you as someone who is going to do absolutely everything you can to get to the type of level of success that you want to have so that you can live the life of your dreams okay so yeah at the end of the day you get the reputation of being someone who's very ambitious very motivated to succeed you're also quite rowdy that's kind of what I was thinking of with the tower card this makes me think of like very big disruptive energy and again this could be talking about how yeah maybe you're a bit of a chatty Kathy and so wherever you're at you're kind of disruptive in the way that you talk really loud you always have something to say you laugh really loud or for some of you guys honestly maybe you don't talk a whole whole lot okay because again this is a very general reading this could also be just talking about how you have a very disruptive presence and the way that whenever you walk into a room you just have such such a way about you all eyes instantly go to you and you can literally be absolutely silent you could be saying nothing and yet all heads will turn to you you just have a very disruptive presence in the way that you're just very magnetic to people people are always very drawn to you very attracted to you and so whenever you walk into a room again even if you're saying absolutely nothing even if you're silent people will still stop what they are doing to look at you so yeah that's kind of like that energy that I'm picking up on so yeah you guys that's kind of what I'm seeing so far let's go ahead and move these cards up and let's take a look at your other cards here so spirit can we get some messages please for group three will you tell us more about group three spirit more about group three what is their reputation how does their boss their co-workers their teachers their classmates what do they think about them okay so there was a card that was like stuck to this one i'm gonna just place this back in the deck like so and we're gonna keep this one here and that is the card athlete and it says a dedication to transcending physical limits including handicaps development of personal willpower and strength of spirit that's oh oh my gosh you guys that was crazy so we're gonna go ahead and take these two cards that fell out fell off to the side and let's see what else gets to come through spirit for group three can we get some final messages please what reputation do they have what is their reputation at work okay two cards again guys you have a lot of cards wanting to come through okay let's just get these out okay this is actually really interesting this is very interesting so again we have the athlete card coming through we also have sensitivity we have courage night watch and release 
So, guys, this is really interesting. I think that this sensitivity in this release card kind of relates more to the High Priestess here. And the way that I was saying that you do give off this mysterious vibe, you seem like someone who only shows one side of yourself at work or at school. And I think that the side that you show to people is one of excitedness. It's one of someone who's very strong, very courageous, very determined to get the job done. And yet... I think that you get the reputation of being someone who people suspect of being more sensitive than what you let on. Because I think when you're at work, when you're at school, you seem like nothing can get the better of you. You seem like nothing bothers you. You don't show any type of softer emotions, if that makes sense. You, it's almost like you wouldn't be caught get caught dead crying in front of people. And so people feel like there's more to you, that they're just getting one side of you. They feel like there is this bit of a softer side to you, this more of a sensitive side that they may not be seeing. And they feel like it's something that you just don't show at first. You just keep it all in at work. Like if anything bothers you or anything upsets you, I think that people feel as though you would keep it all in and that you wait until you get home to really release that that pent up energy you wait until you get home to cry if you get sad or something like that does that make sense so yeah people do feel like you're more sensitive than what you may let on and that you are more softer i think that at work you do show your harder side in the way that you would never cry in the way that you'd never show people if you were upset or something like that. Does that make sense? Okay. But talking about these other cards, we literally have the athlete card coming through. And yeah, this kind of just goes with what I was saying, how you have the reputation of being someone who could do absolutely anything you set your mind on. You seem like someone who is very determined, very dedicated. You seem very strong. You get the reputation of being someone who, once you set a goal for yourself, you will achieve it no matter what. No matter what you have to go through, you will do it. And so, yeah, this literally talks about the dedication to transcending any type of like harder times, any type of physical limits, any type of handicaps. You will go after your dreams and make it a reality no matter what. No matter what you go through, you get the reputation again of being someone who's very, very courageous. You, no matter how hard things get, you will keep on going. And then last but not least, we have Night Watch. And this again just makes me think about someone who works very hard. This makes me think of someone who spends extra time at, jo at the job, at the school, uh, trying to get the job done. And so, yeah, I'm kind of getting the idea that you do get the reputation of being someone who is a bit of a workhorse. I think that you are someone who works harder than everyone else. And people do feel like, again, you're just a really, really, really hard worker. So... <laughs> Yeah, you guys, that again just goes into the fact that they see you as someone who will become very successful because of the fact that you're always working so hard. So, yes, you guys, that is what I'm seeing for you today. I hope that you have enjoyed this reading, and if you did, then please make sure to give me a really big like and to subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every Monday and every Friday, and I would love to have you stop by this side of TerraTube again sometime, okay? So I love you all so much, and I hope that you have an incredible rest of your day friends Mwah. bye guys